When I first came to Mendocino County, it was 1972, and I'd come up from UC Berkeley and was living in a commune, an archetypical hippie commune in the woods 20 miles from here. And we discovered very quickly that living without any electricity, living without any of the amenities was very difficult as we began to try to teach our children how to read and write with kerosene lamps. Over the last 30 years, the price of solar has plummeted drastically. The price of electricity has skyrocketed. Solar is not, uh, not something that means you have to do without, but something that means that you can still have your cold beer and your ice cream and you can live a, a totally fulfilling life, but do it the right way that protects future generations' ability to also use the resources on Earth. In Hopland proper, there is more solar per capita than any place in the world you know, bar none. So, in fact, Mendocino County is now the solar capital of the world. This is where green began, and this is where it continues. People come into the site, they see for the first time what the, what the future can be like. First thing they see is this 130 kilowatt array at the Solar Living Center. They come in, they turn off the road, and they enter a parallel universe where you have trees that are edible and plants that are edible and useful. You have solar water pumps. You have a store built of straw bales. You have uh, ponds and aquaculture and uh, 12 acres of a permacultural oasis. We had designers and visionaries that helped us put all of the astrological uh, the sacred geometry fountains together and all the, the geometry of the trees. And Mendocino County is where people come for, for green technology. People can learn anything from our most popular classes on solar technology, how to design solar systems, how to market and sell solar systems, how to do off-grid solar systems, all the way to uh, biofuels, biodiesel, permaculture, um, all the way to chicken husbandry, beekeeping, so that we, we want to touch not only the, the hard technology but also the soft technology. We even have like survival skills for people where they learn how to rub sticks together and make fire. The encouragement I get from people through the, the notes they leave in the store, through the emails they send in, it's all such positive inspirational stuff that the inspiration continues.